Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are playing with the most expensive face mask that I have ever purchased or tried or, I mean, this is just like really ridiculous. This is totally WTF. I have no idea what this is gonna do for my skin in five minutes, but we are gonna find out because it is a quick mask. This is from Estee Lauder. This is brand new, as in I could not find a review online to save my life. I visited seven different websites, including the Estee Lauder website itself. This has just launched, so there really is no feedback at all. What we are playing with is from Estee Lauder. It is this guy right here. It's quite the giant box for a face mask. The presentation is awesome. You get a dry brush with it as well, so this is a two-step system. That's what's really unique about it. It is inspired by dry brushing, which I've already done two videos on dry brushing. I will link those below. I'm a big fan of dry brushing for the body, so I thought this was really interesting that they include a brush that really will amp up circulation and kickstart exfoliation on the skin pre-mask. This is called the Ultimate Diamond Revitalizing Mask Noir. This is precious. This is so fancy that when you go to the counter, they don't even have a tester out. It's just like an empty jar. So you can't even, you know, touch it, feel it, nothing. You go in completely blind. Ooh, it is actually black. Smells awesome. I cannot wait to get this on my face and be retexturized and brightened and basically this is supposed to revitalize and combat any dullness in the skin and make the skin really soft and supple. So I am all about that. The other thing that I thought would be cool is this is a once a week mask. They say that you can use this two step ritual once a week. I think I'm going to do this once a week until the jar is empty and then I will cycle back and let you guys know how many uses I got out of one jar because it says to use a thin amount and you even have like a little golden spoon so you don't overuse the product and I think that this is a ridiculously high priced item but let's see like how I can stretch it out you know you do get a little booklet in here that explains everything as far as how you are supposed to do the dry brushing how you are supposed to use circular motions you know up the nose on the forehead down the neck and let me show you what the dry brush actually looks like. They very much want you to know that you do not dip this brush in the actual product at all. The gal at the counter told me that at least five times because I think people are assuming that this is the applicator for the mask. It is not. It is simply just to dry brush the skin and get things going. It's really soft. It's actually a lot softer than my foundation brushes which makes me feel like, how is this exfoliating my skin? But, you know, we're gonna give it a go. And the way that you clean this after use is just with a tissue on top, wipe the tissue off. You start with completely clean skin. I have only washed my face. I don't have any moisturizers on. So we are gonna get started. And I just wanna show you this box even has a mirror in here. It's like a really, I mean, it's a nice box. It better be a nice box for how much money this is. Step one, dry brush on clean skin. So we're gonna use small circular motions up from the jaw up to the temple. I don't know if this is doing anything. It says to sweep the brush up from the tip of the nose to the forehead and then in circular motions across the forehead to the temple. And then it says to do one sweeping motion all the way down the neck like this. This doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It just feels like very relaxing and soft. So this is really strange. Now, whenever I have an expensive product, I always like to scrape as much as I can off of the lid, just because I don't want to waste any of this, you know? So I'm just going to start on the forehead and it says to use a thin layer. So we're not gonna overdo it. And it definitely is a little bit gritty and it feels immediately cooling on the skin. That is crazy, it feels very oddly cold. I am now going to take my golden spatula and I am going to grab a dollop of the product and apply this on the rest of the face. So 
So now we're just going to wait for five minutes before rinsing this off with warm water and continuing on to the rest of my daily skincare. The reason this mask is so expensive is because of the rare diamond truffle extract. So it is a very, very unusual rare ingredient. Estee Lauder claims that it took 10,000 hours to develop the technology of putting the ingredients in this mask together and it's supposed to just really do amazing things. And that's why I'm trying it out because I know that if there was a mask out there that you could use once a week that would really completely transform your skin, even though it is this very, very high price. I think that there are people that would be interested in it. So I'm enjoying it so far. It smells very fresh and floral. Looking at it in the jar, you think it's gonna smell very charcoaly like a mud mask, but it is not charcoal, it's not a mud mask, it is black diamond truffle. So it just, it smells really fresh. I'm having a little bit of a strange day, you guys, because yesterday's video, which is actually today, <laughs> um, today right now I'm reading comments on yesterday's video, which, you guys know what I'm talking about. So my OMG Tuesday on the peel off lipstick, my lips are still really, really dry from that, A. B, I did read the directions, I did not overuse the product and it still got in my mouth everywhere and made my throat and tongue numb and made me feel sick and tasted weird and just felt like it was just, something was not right. As far as the eyebrows go, we can see that my brows are still very tinted and they're almost it's almost an orange tint. I know people were like, you're supposed to leave it on for two hours. I left it on for maybe 25 minutes and I should have put like a time thing in the video, but I waited until it was completely dry and when I peeled it off, there was a ton of pigment. It already had done its thing. I don't know that I would have wanted to wait for two full hours. I might try it again and I will definitely let you guys know on Snapchat, like I will demo it on Snapchat on video there. I'm just Tati Westbrook over on Snapchat, but I want to let you guys know I'm never bashing a brand. It's not that I hate a brand. I look at the products as individual things. I want to test them and see pro and con if they work for me, what my experience was, what I think a normal consumer would go through when they purchase a weird item like a peel off lipstick. And that's what I delivered. It was a little bit of a crazy video, I get it. I tried drugstore, high end, expensive, inexpensive, and you know everything works out to be a different story each time. So I hope you guys know that I'm always coming from a good place. I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna go wash my face off. Putting my hair up and out of the way and then I'm going to reveal my new skin. I better have just like brand new skin is what I'm thinking for the price, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Wow, oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Whoa, oh my god, it's worth every penny. Um, my immediate thought is I like the Roloxin lift better. That's my immediate thought. Um, my skin does feel really soft. When you rinse it off, it feels almost gel-like and it slightly exfoliates because it's a little bit granular, but it mostly goes into like a gel and it does rinse off really clean, really quickly. So I'm gonna finish up my skincare and then we're gonna hop back to the beauty room. Do I look brand new? I don't think so. Um, okay, so I just rinsed the face mask off and I, I don't know. I don't think it really did anything. I do feel like things are a little bit softer and exfoliated, but I get that same feeling when I use a granular exfoliator or a scrub, and I don't feel super hydrated. I mean, I feel a little bit hydrated, but I feel like I was expecting a bit more from this mask. Now, when I used the Reloxin Lift, immediately I was just like blown away. My skin was just like and really tight and bright and felt hydrated and great. And I have been loving that mask still. I actually ordered more. And I was hoping that this would kind of give me a similar result, maybe be a little more hydrating and exfoliating. And right now I'm kind of thinking, I don't really know that that did anything. And I own a lot of face masks. I will share with you guys some of my favorites, maybe during a check-in, we'll go into my beauty closet and look at some of my very, very favorite face masks. I think this is the most expensive beauty product I've purchased. 
It's just, this is like really bordering on ridiculous, but I wanted to try it because I keep seeing ads everywhere and there's a little bit of buzz going on around the product and no reviews. So I thought, why not try it out? And I will let you guys know throughout the day, I'm gonna check in once I put my makeup on, I will see if my makeup applied any smoother, easier, um, and we will go from there. So it's been a good four hours or so. My makeup is on, I've even changed. It's super hot outside today. And I just wanna point out that I am having a ridiculously good makeup day. And as far as face makeup, like foundation and powder and concealer, I'm using all of the usual good items that are favorites in my collection. I'm using Fiona Styles foundation, my Maybelline Age Rewind Neutralizer underneath the eye, Cody Airspun powder. I love doing that, especially when I'm trying out a new face product because I know how those items perform using the stuff I normally use and I always wanna see if things will perform even better. So I wanna say that my skin is behaving. It is not getting crazy oily. It feels really balanced, it feels smooth. My foundation went on like a freaking dream and I didn't use a primer. Um, I did pat, actually I take that back. I patted a little bit of uh, Benefits Professional right in my T-zone, but beyond that, I didn't use my Edward Best Primer. I just wanted to see how my skin felt overall and it does feel firm. So my immediate reaction washing the mask off I think was a little bit mm -mm, like I was imagining spectacular results like I just got back from a fabulous spa and you know that wasn't my initial reaction but seeing how my makeup went on and how my skin is behaving you know throughout the day I do think this mask did do some beneficial things. Do I think it's worth $340? No. I don't think any mask is. As far as color on my face right now, I love my makeup. Love, love, love. Good color makeup as well. And I'm using a ton of the Estee Edit products. That is gonna be tomorrow's Hot or Not. I just realized like that's two Estee Lauder videos in a row. Neither one of them are sponsored. Um, just total, just weird coincidence. Anyway, okay, that's the update for now. I'm gonna run some errands and I will check back in with you guys while putting on a mask on James in a little bit. Super random, but I was mentioning these sandals on Snapchat. They are the best thing I've ever purchased at Marshalls in my whole life. They are 25 bucks. I already have a backup pair. Whee! Oh my God. We are entering, wow, that is like a really buzzy noise. We're at Home Goods. The most important part of my day. Just kidding. Um, you guys, I do other things than just run errands. Yesterday in the video, I had other important business meetings. It was not just finding a doggy bed. I just wanted to like clear that up because a lot of comments were like, oh, the only important thing you had to do was shop? What a life. Um, I do other stuff too. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're headed into home goods. We're gonna hopefully find some stuff for the home. And now I have light on me, thank goodness. You know what? I think this stuff did firm my face a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. For your bathroom. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I like that. Huh. I want to know the person that's going to buy this, though. Look at that. I'm going to buy this. Okay, for so that we can understand how big the elephant is, you're 6'2". Yeah. This is giant. This is a seven and a half foot tall elephant. It's kind of cool. I leave him unattended for like two minutes. I said use a light amount. Well, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you said not to use my finger. I said to you. Oh my God, James, <laughs> what have you done? You said not to use your finger. No, I said to use one scoop you with the spatula. I, I got one scoop. What? Here, I'll show no, you. No, 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 no. That's not what you do. That's, that's what not I did. what you do. Oh dear God, you. Realize how much is on your face right now? You no. better enjoy that. Why? Rub it in. It's a $340 mask. No way. Yes, no way. <laughs> oh God, I feel horrible. Do you want some? I feel so stupid. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. At least you're trying it out. Right? Maybe it'll be magical. Do you like my yellow headband? Yes. I stole it from your drawer. That's nice. Should I fish? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. To be continued. Hey, I've got a beauty tip. Oh, you do? Yeah. What's that? 
when I first started doing masks with you, mm -hmm. I would like outline the beard. I would like go around the beard. Mm -hmm. But what I figured out is you've got skin underneath the beard. So just push the mask through. Okay, beauty tips with James. Yeah. For men. <laughs> that use masks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost completely broke my camera. Really good catch. Thank you. We're waiting for James's mask to do its work. I feel like I'm having an exceptional skin day. I don't know if that's because of the mask or not, but I'll take it. While we wait for James's mask to do its magic, let me show you my new pillows. Very excited. I am a big fan of home goods. I need to get lamps in here, but look at these pink furry pillows. They're so super cute and they were very affordable and I just love home goods. Yay. Let's go into the beauty closet. Don't mind the mess, don't mind the mess. Reloxin, I got a whole big box of Reloxin. Okay, so. I have a few drawers of masks. These are my overnight ones and hydrating ones that I would use on a plane or just to super hydrate the skin. Still really, really love the Glam Glow. This one, the Thirsty Mud, smells like coconut. Put it on overnight and your skin is totally revived. Love it. Um, I have some Caudalie, which is a total favorite of mine. Skin SkinCeuticals, this one is bomb. Um, I have one from Lancome. This one is actually so good. This smells weird. It smells like you've been like hardcore drinking. It has like a very alcohol kind of smell to it, which is a little bit concerning, but you wake up in the morning and your skin is phenomenal. Then in here I have, you know, things for like issues and exfoliation. I love my real chemistry. This is a peel. Um, I have some Lush masks. I have a peel off mask. These Seventh Heaven masks, the single use ones, I love. Super affordable at the drugstore. This one, of course, I've used to death. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. And that's about that because James is calling me um, to see his results. Thumbs up this video if you want to see my entire skincare collection. All right, bye. I'm going to rinse my face now. Meh. Meh? All right. And end scene. <laughs> I don't feel like it. You like your perfect skin mask better? I mean, my skin feels clean, but I washed my face before. I don't, you know Does what it I feel like? super soft? I don't notice anything. I like family <laughs> masks. Me too. High five. I used the mask. James used the mask. I don't think either one of us were super thrilled with the results. I feel like I keep trying to think like, yes, my skin, amazing. I think that I will try this more and more and more as mentioned. I'm gonna document how many uses I get out of the jar, even though James probably took up like five uses with his one use of one scoop but it was a large scoop. Anyway, I am going to keep using this once a week and I will see if over time the results get better, uh, how long the product lasts me. But I wanna say off the bat, I think Relax and Lift and the Skin Perfector, which is the one that James likes so much, the Problem Solver. Those two masks, which I have done WTFs on that I will link below, are awesome. We both still really enjoy them. And this one was just kind of so-so and it's so much more expensive, so I'm a bit surprised. Anyway, that is that. I have a couple of random extras. I think this will be like a new thing that I add into the end of some of my videos. I am wearing Kiko Velvet Satin Nail Lacquer and this is in the shade 697. It is like a deep navy. It is matte. This is probably the best matte nail polish I have ever used in my life. And it's super affordable. Bonus. Another random extra is what I'm wearing on my lips. This is Aries from Ofra. This is Manny's collaboration and it is beautiful. You guys know how 
how really judgy I can be with liquid lipsticks. They are too drying. Yes, I put a balm on top of this one, but it is a beautiful color and it has worn gorgeously all evening. I was just randomly playing with this before I went out and about and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And tomorrow I will have a hot or not on all of the new Estee Edit products. I have been trying these out and I have absolute complete hot or not thoughts. So that will be tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.